So for today, we will start for the account module training, but mostly we will cover today, uh, I will cover these four uh, title la, content. La. Okay. So first we will cover the fake asset account entry la, and then how to key in the expenses for the payout and then uh, recurring transaction, how to do the cost. Uh, fixed asset, some of the fixed asset and, and the expenses always will do recurring every month to do one. So that's why uh, our system got a recurring function, how to do that today I will show. And then uh, we got a one more function for the bank reconciliation. Actually, this one is a quite long time already, but I'm not sure is it uh, your site uh, got people to know this new function or not. Actually, later I will introduce a bit also. Lah. Okay, so for first topic is the fake asset account entry. So uh, here we will try to uh, talk about how to handle the fake asset transaction. Because usually uh, some of the user for my site, sometimes uh, even my site got to the implementation. Uh, some of the user even uh, they, they got the account knowledge, of, but some of the user don't have the account knowledge, so they will ask how to key in. So uh, that's why uh, actually we always we will suggest user to ask uh, their account or auditor how to what transaction they how they, they want to key in, then we will try to find the solution how to key in at the system now. And then uh, for here, actually why we need to do the fake asset account entry, cause fake asset accounting actually related to the accurate logging of the financial data regarding the fake asset. Lah. And then uh, fake asset form a sub substantial part of the company investment is as a imperative to record its specification correctly. La. Due to this fit asset is a continuous to use, uh, fit asset are subject to constant devolution. So it will, that's why here the fit asset got also the depreciation cost as well. La. That's why uh, have to specify a rate uh, for every year. So for the first adding to the fake asset, your financial record, you need to carry out the periodic depreciation transaction as well. Lor. <clears throat> so for here, uh, today we will take a set assemble for the fake asset is the vehicle, the car. If the company buy a car, so here is the sample. If let's say the owner buy a car for the company for to use, so here we will show the com the price. Or always we will see the brochure like this. So the price for on the load is hundred ninety. Then the bank loan, the interest to calculate the bank loan interest. So this is the information uh, for this new purchase vehicle. So the car, the price amount is 190, 351 So uh, for this one, the car will pay deposit to the this uh, company. So that's why they, uh, for here, maybe the deposit is pay, payment by bank, like the check. And then for the higher purchase loan, is 100,000 cost. Uh, they pay the deposit 90,000 plus, then the purchase loan is uh, 100,000. Then the loan period is a uh, five year. And then the inter interest rate is a 2.85 interest uh, percent. Nah. And then the interest expenses is a 14,250. Then this is the monthly installment 
1,005 ringgit. So here, cost of just now uh, for this vehicle purchase, the user first payment have to do the payment voucher cost they pay by the check 90,311. So this one just key in at the payment voucher there. So after key in, if let's say the user want to know after key in the payment voucher, the account entry, how to handle the account double entry, how to handle, we can try to check on the document posting inspector. So actually if this one is the, at the, you can see on the tools there, we got the document posting inspector, or you can use the shortcut key, control shift D. So you can see the, this uh, document posting for just now the payment voucher, debit what account and credit what account. So I will show you here. So for here, so just now that one, let's say, if let's say the user want to check the, if got the payment voucher, Or this one. So if let's say user want to check the double entry, so you can click here tools, and then here you got the document posting inspector. Then you can see the double entry as just now the slide show. Okay. So after they pay the deposit, the next step is the higher purchase creditor loan release for the fake asset the motor vehicle, just now the car. Lah. So loan amount is uh, applied from bank is 100,000. And then the loan released by Maybank and then the interest suspend. So this is the total amount actually. The second one here is the total amount. So for here actually, uh, the, this one entry have to key in at the general ledger there, uh, the general entry, sorry. So here we can try to key in as a, just same at this screen. So we have to key in the motor vehicle, the fake asset, the debit, and then the higher purchase creditor for Maybank is 100,000. And then the interest suspense, 100, uh, for 14,250. So, and then the higher purchase creditor for Maybank is 14,250. So this is the entry to key in for at the journal day. Lah. Okay, for next, we have to key in the higher purchase capital loan release for big asset just now. So actually how the calculation now, uh, so actually this one no need to do like just a uh, sharing on it. Uh. So just now the amount for the car is 100,000 for loan. So this is the interest by bank. So we have to pay for five years cost this one interest per year. So that's why I have to times five years. Uh. So total amount is 14,250. So this is figure that's, that's why just now uh, I showed in front of the slide. Lah. So, and then, uh, so for the third step, we have to do the monthly installment. No? So this is the every month have to do one. So we have to do the payment voucher. So if this is the uh, payment method, it depends on user. Lah. So for here, we will do the online transfer, uh, 1,905 ringgit. And then uh, the payment details for the account is the higher purchase register. So after key in, you want to know the double entry also can show at here. 
document posting is better here. So you can know the double entry. So this is the sharing for how to do the installment. <clears throat> so this is the calculation. Actually, uh, the calculation for the per month for installment actually is 1,904 ringgit plus. Uh, that's, but for here, uh, as I know, the uh, bank will round the figure to be 1,905 ringgit. That's why the last month pay the amount will, will be lesser. So here is the interest calculation. We, our site got to do a sample. So later uh, we will share this slide for yours. So you can try to view how to do the calculation. So for here actually, Every month we pay the uh, installment, the amount. Actually, uh, for bank there, we will split the principal amount and the interest amount. La. So for first, first, uh, first few months, we pay the interest will be more. And then the principal amount will be less a bit. So actually, at the last you pay, actually the interest will very less already. So this is the calculation. So we do the interest amount, just now 14,250, that one divide to this figure, 1830 times 60. Actually this 1830 is the every month, the figure. So you can see the this one period, 60 plus until one here to get the total is a 1830. So you can later you can try to view the this one Excel. For here you can check. This is the just now 1830 the calculation. We sum this figure, then you can know this is a one. Three zero. Okay, this period. Okay, so okay, sorry for here just now. Uh, I missed this one. To calculate the. This is uh just now the money installment. So actually, uh, I cut my site cannot find the. Extra statement, uh, that's why we I don't have the extra bank statement, but I my, this one I try to online to find it. So this is the bank loan for the uh, statement for the car uh, higher purchase loan. So here is the sample how they calculate. Uh. That's why I try to do as the Excel just now. So this one for for the here. But, uh, Excel at my site already so at the sample idea. La. Okay. So for here, just now I missed for the depreciation already. So actually the car amount is 190-331. So uh we will set the depreciation period is for five years, but this one depreciation period and rate should request opinion from the auditor. La. So we as I bet the rate for the yearly depreciation is a 20%. So this one depreciation we have to do at the system as well. So uh, for here, we can uh, do the at the journal entry there to, to do this double entry. First is the, you can do the debit account for depreciation expenses and then uh, for this fake asset to do the credit. Okay, for here is the calculation to do the depreciation. So yearly depreciation for uh, for year uh, for yearly is a thirty eight thousand sixty six point two. So here 
that's why uh, we have to just now the transaction we have to do is by monthly but this one also depends on user you want to do by monthly or yearly also can okay so if let's say by monthly we have to divide by 12 months here lah. so that's why the figure for every month is a depreciation rate is a 3000 plus so this is the calculation to do the depreciation at the excel there so at the end the depreciation amount we have to keep one ringgit for this car value so that's, that's why here you can see the net value at last to be one ringgit here. And then as just now I show is a, we have to do the higher purchase interest. This one also is by monthly or by yearly also can. So here is the purchase loan 100,000 and then the loan period is five year. Interest rate per annum is a 2.85 and then the higher purchase interest 14k plus and then money is almost 1,005 ringgit so here we also have to do the past journal by every month or by yearly so here is the amount we for my side this example is by monthly that's why here is the amount is a 400 plus that's why here I got do the remark this is the first of the 60 months. So here is the also got the calculation. So you can try to open the Excel to check the calculation. The formula will be here already. This is a, for the fake asset. So if you got question, then maybe you can keep, uh, you can ask at the chat box there, chat room there. Later, we will try to answer, or you can put at the Q&A there. We will try to find out the, uh, the answer for you. Okay, so the next topic after the fake asset, the next topic mostly is the expenses payout. Lah. So some of the user, they will con how they also got asked how to handle the expenses for like the TMB, the electricity bill or water bill or the how to do the salary payout. So here for expenses payout, we will try to speak to, to uh, three small topic here. It's the salary payout. So first we will talk this one first. So this is the example for the company do the payslip for the staff. So this is the staff basic salary is 2,500. And then the staff have to pay the EPF is 11%. So that's why here we show is the 275. And then the source saw is 12 ringgit 25 cent. So this is the assembly. So how does the calculation for this uh, for this uh, round one. So for their cost, basic is 2,500, but after deduct these two uh, EPF and SOSO, so the, the next salary will be 2,212.75 cents. So that's why here you can do see the net pay here. So this one, how we handle at the system, so this is the way we can do at the payment voucher as this sample. So they can, this one is depend, the payment method also same depends on the owner. If let's say they pay by check, then here payment method will be check. So reference number have to get in the check number lah, if let's say pay by check. So for my sample is a pay by online transfer IBG. So here you can see, uh, okay, you can see this is the sample to key in the salary payout. So here is the basic salary is 2005. So you can put the minus at the payment voucher here to deduct the EPF, the this row one, the EPF, 
and then Soso okay, also can deduct like this. So at the end, you can get the net amount is 2,212.75 cents. Okay. So for this one, if let's say you want to know the double entry, you can check the document posting inspector as well. So here is the company. Company also have to pay the EPF for this stuff and then the SOSO as well. So the company pay is a uh, EPF is 13.13%, 332, uh, 325 ringgit. And then the company SOSO will be 42 ringgit 85 cent as December. So for here, they can use the general entry to key in this figure. So they can key into this contribution, EPF 325 for the company, and then the EPF paper 325, and then SOSO, and then this one, uh, SOSO payable. So uh, how come have to put the payable? Cause this one actually is the expenses for April, that's why they, we have to put it at the April for the payable. Because usually this one, uh, for usually the salary is for April. So the company will pay on May. That's why this one you can put it the pay, put it at, at the payable uh, account there, the current liability there. So you can know this is the liability current liability for the April. So after you key in this one, so you can see the GL there. So you can see the, you can see at the GL there, company do the payment for the EPF, the SOSO paper. So you can see the total amount, how much uh, for, for this stuff already. So you can see just now the company paid 325 and then the staff 11%, 275. So that's why total up company later will have to pay the EPF there is a 600 lo, cost must to pay these two amount. So, and then the source also. So one is the company pay for Rowan and then one is the Rowan own pay amount so total is of 55 10 ringgit so here you can do the payment voucher for this company uh pay the epf for the cat of usb dot sum up uh sum up the dot both amount so you can see the have company have to pay 600 and then put at the payable payable account there Okay, for SOSO here, also same. You can see sum up the figure as well for to pay the pocket saw there. So at the end, for this figure after pay on, after pay on the, for this figure just now 600. So at the end, here you can see no more balance idea for the one cost. You can see the figure like this. So one entry is a credit and then one entry for debit. So after done the payment, both paper will be fully locked up by data. So another one is uh, how to key in the TMB electricity bill. So uh, this also depends because some of the user once they receive the TMB bill, they sometimes actually they actually will key in directly at the payment voucher how much they pay. But some of the user they will pass journal for accrual electric expenses for this electricity expenses. They you used to recognize the expenses that have been consumed and for which the payment have not yet to pay up for that month. 
So that's why as same as the just now the salary, this one uh cost the this one bill just now the bill is for April. So once you receive on May, then you only pay on May. So actually this is the expenses for April. That's why have, uh, some of the user that can key in to do this one is the accrual expenses on May. And then uh, they can do the credit for these expenses and then uh, expenses for debit here. So here we can, uh, Based on the account there, they can see this one is the expenses for April. But after do this one, not still not yet to uh to do to pay the this one uh electrical city bill. This one just to keep a record only. So after that, then once the company ready to pay the electrical city bill, then they can. Okay, they can uh, do the payment voucher. So they can do the payment voucher like this. Then at the for this one, account here have to choose the accrual expenses so cost have to knock off this figure. And then at the end, this is the GL report. So here you can see the figure on after you pay for the by the public bank account and then here you can see the accrual expenses credit already then for just now the payment voucher to debit again so at, that's why here already not off already and then here you can see the expenses for this figure so this is the way to check on the gl there so at the next, actually the water bill also same as the electric city bill. Lah. But here actually you can see the this electric city bill here. This depends on user, you want to key in details or just lump sum figure. If you want to key in the details one, then you have to uh, create the account code at the child account there. If you don't want to just want to key in the lump sum figure, you can directly to key in at the uh, electrical city, uh, water and electrical city expenses here. So for here is a water bill payout. So always the user will get the water bill like this. So here we can see the figure is 72.85 cent. So here also same. Uh, can pass a journal for the accrual water expenses to recognize the expenses as well. That means they consume for for the month, not and then the payment have not yet to pay up. So this is a way to key in. Actually, if let's say you don't want to key in uh for journal here, if let's say you receive the you receive this uh water bill. Actually, I can direct to do the payment, but here the account number not to do the accrual expenses. You can directly to key in for this uh, expenses account. So for here, if let's say direct to key in by uh, this one payment voucher, you can do is the credit the, by the online transfer and then debit to the expenses account. This one nine zero three six zero. So this account code is the default account code at the child account. There our default account code for the Dynamo. So actually the account code is ready. Unless you want to split more detail or different account code, you can create by your own. So after you key in all the transaction just now, cost uh for my sample is uh have to key in the journal entry that's why we we do the journal entry then to do the payment voucher so at the end this is the gl listing so actually uh for 
electrical city bill and water bill is no big different now. Okay, so for just now the electrical city bill and the water bill, actually every month have to do one. So some for the just now the journal entry uh, and then uh, the payment voucher, uh, this one recurring to do. Uh. So we actually our system is uh, got a special function to do the recurring transaction. So how we do the recurring transaction? Okay, so this is the way when you key in the journal entry or every transaction screen, Actually, you can see these two icon here. Okay, so you for this icon is the self recurring. You can see got a discard beside the star is the self recurring. So this is a self as recurring record for latest you. So beside this one, you can see a star. Star is the loop recurring. So you can load the self recurring record into current record. That means if let's say you got set this record before, you can try to load again at the when you create a new transaction. Okay, for here you can see. So for set the recurring transaction, after you key in the set the transaction. After you key and save the transaction, you can click this icon, then you can see this bookmark record. So you can do a remark. This one is for what purpose to use for, for this uh, recurring one. So after you save, you can see the bookmark record will be saved here at the bookmark list. So You can see here is a bookmark here. Then, okay. So at for the after you save this one. So now we uh, will show how to load again. So for load the recurring transaction, after you create a new transaction, you try to click this icon star icon to load. Then you can see you got uh this is the previous bookmark rib here. You try to check if let's say this listing got a few remarks here. You try to check out which remark you want to apply to this transaction here. So after you select, you you click this one, copy as new. Then if you like paste the all the info to here, then you can try to actually after you your uh, system look all the things for you already because here actually will show the remark for the last transaction or previous transaction so you have to edit la, and then the record a bit only for this one is for april ma. so so maybe uh may for the may re uh, record so you can try to change to may and then here you can try to change to me and then the document date sure is uh, follow the latest at the current date because this is the previous document date that's why you have to change uh. so if let's say you don't have you this one look self recurring or look recurring actually you can try to uh Find back the last or previous transaction. Actually, uh, our system there got a special key. Okay, maybe I show you. Okay, for like this one, other payment, the payment voucher. If let's say you just now don't want to use the self recurring or load recurring, you can try to come back to this previous uh transaction. You can use the keyboard control. You can click the keyboard control alternate and see. You will, you, you will get this one copy record to clipboard. So you click OK. Then you click a new transaction. Okay, here just now is control alternate C. 
Now for here, you can try to paste the record to here is control alternate V. So it will show look the, from the clipboard. So this is another way for the user if let's say they don't have maintain or don't want to maintain this one self or look recurring, you can try to use this to copy the last transaction form. Then you just change the record like this one is for May 20th today date. You just follow today date. And then here you can change some of the info. Maybe you want to change the remark. You can try to change. Then you just save on it. Okay, here okay, for this one, reference use ID. So this one you try to save. So this is the way also quite uh, easier for user as well. Lah, if let's say don't have to maintain cost for just now, you have to save this transaction, then you do the remark, then you save. Okay, so for next one, you just add a new docu transaction, then you can try to load the recurring. Okay, here you can see, oh, which one you want to use. For this one payment voucher, we got two record before. So if let's say you want to use this one, you just uh, highlight this one and then copy as news. We will paste to here already. So here you can edit maybe uh, next month, this is June already. Then you can key in June, also can save, the save on it. Okay, sorry. So this is the, reference number we have to change so so this is the way either which one you want to use so you can show for the use your your customer or user to try either this way okay so this is the recurring function at our system for this slide, I don't have show the control alternate C and control alternate V. Actually, it's same as our usually copy paste, uh, just control C and control V, but you plus one more button is alternate. Okay, next is the last topic for today is the band reconsideration by period. Okay, this is the new features released on our dynamo on the 2019.1 build 2. So this one is two years already. La. Now, to, uh, yesterday only released the latest one is 2021.2 already. So this is two years ago function. So the new pen reconciliation with the input method only support the new money record. La. So that also for the heaven be clear using the previous method. Cause last time we got a one more is the band reconcile. Now it's the one more fun, one more option is the by period. So for this one actually, uh, later I will show the difference. So if let's say previously you got to the band reconcile, the old method one, so have to clear all first uh, then, uh, only the new transaction, maybe the new month, only to use the this one. If let's say you so want to use this one, then you, you can suggest them clear all the previous one already, then only try to use this one, the new new uh this one, the new one by period one. So here actually user can key in the bank statement amount to check the different. Uh, and then uh, the transaction will now generate based on the period selected and all clear history that perform in the, this period will be displayed as well. So it's able to key in the actual bank statement to keep track uh, and then the system will automatically calculate the different compared with the system bank statement balance. So this is the new function. So the difference is, uh, this is the last time our band reconsult like the smart SQL that one. So you can see you have to select bank account and then you have to select the date. 
you you have to key in that from and that to then you have to do the reconsult option also but for the new one you no need you just key in the bank account after you key in the bank account you select the period but this period is follow your financial the follow the database financial period so here have to take note so uh but mostly our site will try to check with the user mostly the company statement will start from uh like the one first of the month until the end of the month like this uh. if let's say the user the statement not from first of the month or until end of the month like this one uh, maybe half month uh, maybe like the sample like this one uh, maybe uh, their statement is second may until second june like that uh. so then uh, maybe they have to use better own old method uh. Because here you cannot cannot select the middle of the or next of the month for the month. Now. That's why here have to follow the financial period. And then here got the one more is the, you can key in the actual bank statement here. So after you key in, when you do the bank reconsult, when you take the clear check or payment so here system will compare the different and then okay so this is the way so if let's say after you key in then here you can see the process if the process here show is why means that man already done the bank reconcile already so here you can see the statement amount and then the input amount is it got different or not so if let's say that month got different means got some changes already if let's say cost should be every month should be no different uh. if let's say you got the different means uh either got some changes already so you can go back that month to check so maybe i try the center here so this is the so actually also at the accounting module there cash book you can see the band reconstruct and then reconstruct by period okay so here also send to select the bank as just now mentioned then here you select the month which month you want to do the reconstruct? Okay. So here, if let's say it's done already, then you can do for the next one. Actually, here system will auto capture the next period for you the done period, uh, the next of the done period. So here you can see. So you auto select already. Then you just click the generate. So here we show. And then here you can take which one is clear. Then you will check. Off. Okay, before you actually is before you take, you have to key in the statement amount. How much you send as the the record segment there? Then you click generate. Oh, sorry. So you key in the statement, your statement amount here you key in. So once you take here, actually we'll do, we'll, 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 we'll check, you will see the difference. Sorry, here maybe it's a... So here should be... One, two, two, one, two, three, like that. So this is the figure. So you have to key in. Then after you take all, here you can see oh, no different. If you got different here, we show the different. So here after done, you just do as last time the posting, post 
then you click yes. Okay, here depends. Here, if let's say done means you process ID, then you save. So here the clear ID. So it will auto capture the next month idea. So you can see here it will show the process is why means it's done already. So here we show the record here. Okay. So for one more here, some of the user maybe they have to know is the adjust. What's the function for adjust? Actually, the Pen reconstruct last time also got this function. This adjusts maybe sometime a uh, user they got the check bank charges. So uh, they want to key in the lump sum figure when they do the bank reconstruct here. You can do the adjust. So here you can key in the figure. If let's say you got 10 check is by ringgit. So one check at 50 cent. So here you can try to check back the bank charges. Okay. Here, get this one, bank charges. Then you can do the check record here. If let's say you want to do the check number remark. So if Confirm done ID, you just click add adjustment. So here we will directly prompt to the journal screen. So you can key in the, so actually no need to key in idea. System will auto generate or for you ID, you just save. Then after you save, you close the screen. Okay. So cost the, sorry, uh, cost. Just now do this one should be on May cost just now the journal entry. Just now the journal entry here is for May. Okay, this one, the firing gate. So maybe I try one more time. If let's say you want to key in, like let's say 10, 10 ringgit. So you try to put the account code, then you add adjustment. Okay, so here, after you do done the adjustment, then you just save. After you save, actually here, you can see system will take for you already. So you need to take. So others you can take one by one, or you can do this one, clear all, check all, or uncheck all. If let's say sometime the user, they done until they do it until half they can save as KIV. Then you click yes. So this one you can save is a KIV first. So user can try to close the screen. Then maybe go for rest first. After they rest, they want to come back to continue. So you can try to generate first, oh, sorry. Try to generate. Okay, you click generate. So for just now have should be got two take ID. So how we continue, we can load the KIV. We try to check the latest one, then we click okay. We click yes. So system will check just now what you set. So after you this one, you can continue, take, 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 then you can post. So this is the way to do the brand reconstruct. Okay. So here I've got a video. Maybe uh, you will try 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 to review back. You can try to check for this video. So this is the today uh, present. So thanks for all come to join this uh, 
Rapido. Thanks, Juan. So I have some questions la, asked on behalf. Of. How do I switch from bank reconciliation, which I already use all the while to bank reconciliation by period. Let's say last time I, I'm just using the bank reconciliation. Then after some times I decide to use by period. How can I uh, switch this? Hmm? Is that doable? Is that doable? Is that last time? All the while, okay, maybe last few years I do the reconciliation is use the function bank consult reconciliation. Ma. Then the after half years, at the with the company decided we want to do by period one, then can I switch it over? Uh, that's why the slide they got mentioned have to uh you have to clear all previous one, then a new transaction only start to use the the by period that, that one. Is it assignment? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. You have to only do again different uh, structure. I think uh, take why also asking uh, they are different if it's just all mentioned by units. That's another way. The make customers start using the period, then I need to change to the by a normal bank account. I think same apply to the answer just now. Uh, have to redo do again. Uh. Mm. We do all over again. Because at the moment, for example, I done the half month, half year already. So let's say July, I want to start a new one. So because you want to change method, ma. so what you can do is you call the, let's say, last time you bank period, now you want bank record. So under bank record that you take the, all the transaction start from early until June, you take mark all, mark all the transaction first, and then check those have uh, unclear when you untake. To in order in the July, you can get the unpresented check or undebited amount. So you do that, then you save it. Then from July onwards, you use the new method. Previous one, you just do all check, one, 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 one off check all the other transaction. That's how you do it. Okay. Can you uh, understand? You mark all that means mm -hmm. that. Because all the six months you've done already, you no need to redo again. Just mark all, clear off. So also uh, another question is extension of this scenario. Uh. So some customer they do daily one, daily bank reconciliation. Then uh so that's uh then the dealer maybe they ask them to do by period, uh, not do daily. Then after that, uh, every day will have this story will become so many is to be there. Yes. This is uh okay. First of all, why they do daily? Uh? Is it too mm -hmm. many check to to check? I think maybe la, because maybe this customer they have a lot of outlet. If they do it by monthly, then also a lot of work. Yeah, you let's say you really want to do the daily one, you know, try you it's actually a lot of uh, history there. To keep track what you've done, the history is because what you've done only. Maybe some care we <laughs> Maybe can set as KIV, then at the at the month end only uh at end of the month try to check again. You use set the KIV, am I right? Is it? Then they can look back the correct. You the set as KIV. So, any question else? Come back to just now the third topic we talking about the uh, recurring one. So actually, there's a question now. Uh, so let's say if you want to load the recurring, okay, can they not copy the the, the date? Cannot. Some <laughs> is right. not not allowed. To, you need to manually change the date. Manually change the date every time. They only can load the the KIV recurring back. No, the recurring is have loot first, then you change it. After loot, then you change it. So this have to take take note like, very specially. You must change the date. Yes, so that, right. That's why I have to mention yeah. for the user. Like. This is something yeah, wow, well, it will affect a lot like you forgot to change the date then. Okay. 
Okay. Is there any more questions uh, you all would like to know? Actually, the fact I said that everyone un understand. <laughs> fix accept. Maybe they, they will not need to know la, when they have to differentiate themselves what is uh, belongs to fix accept, right? What is not. Cross usually uh, for my site implement mm. key in by user owner. We, mm. I don't have touch for this. Uh, so that's why this is uh, my first time to do this kind of sharing. So mm -hmm. maybe if don't understand, maybe can we can do the sharing. Uh, maybe your, your site got a question, my user always will ask, then we can do the sharing. Then um, okay. other questions are, uh, see, if, I'm not sure is it something you also related here. Like every time uh, when we set up the payment method, uh, the new payment method, maybe like e-wallet one or credit card one, machine one, then we need to, to create, when we create the new payment method, then we will ask you, do you want to do the GR mapping? Uh, right? So sometimes how do we know that the GR mapping map to which type of account that like is? Should I like open individual mapping account or is actually go back to the bank account? This is another topic already. This is the mm. post payment type, not just now the view payment type. Mm. But this will affect the consolidation. No? This depends on user. La. If let's say the user say the transaction directly to means just now the e-wallet directly to hmm. bank into their bank, then you can try to do uh, mapping to the bank account. La. If some of users say not directly bank it, maybe they want to check, uh, double check on the, uh, the default account code there, hmm. like the IP88, we got a default account code. So we, we posting to there first, then after user check all the things, then only to do one more payment voucher or journal entry to posting the bank amount to the, the bank, bank in amount to their bank. So, okay, so they have to personally check it like, before they, they do all this consolidation. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so, so it's another question. Bank recon by periods from first first day until the end date of the month. What if the bank statement is half date? So I think uh, the bank recon by period is not between the period the customer. Just now I think I uh, also show uh, just now we have two type uh. So one is bank reconciliation, one is bank reconciliation by period. When you choose the use the by period one, our system by default is from the start date of the month until end date of the month. But if you want to change it differently, a like half month or uh, 10 of the month or something, then you can only use the bank recon, cannot use by period. Yes. So that's, this is why we have two types for you to choose. Uh. Usually, usually a lot of people is by default is uh, if first day until the end date, then, then uh, we have this by period for you to choose. Uh, if you're not, then you choose the by, not by period one. I mean, cannot make to use. Cannot. You cannot, uh, because sometimes when you got the bank, sometimes they, they give you the bank statement is one until the first, and then the next one is 15. Normally, bank statement is always right. start from first day of the month. Uh. Usually, it start from first day. Uh, or yes. if, not, if not, then... If let's say the business is not start from the first date, the half month, then I believe the recurring pattern for that comp the business also will be the same one. It, it usually wouldn't be a mix mix, right? If I have you have you met this kind of situation, they don't have a mix mix one. No. Better to mix up. <laughs> you mix then <laughs> you cannot do it. You mix you cannot do. You you need just one only. Uh. Kind of uh, mix up. That's why before we do the implementation or mm -hmm. training, so we will let user know got these two bank reconsult. 
So we will let user know either select one to use to mm. mix together. I have customer statements from two. Twenty. 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 They when you use a normal bank account, already, no choice other one. You can choose from there. Or another method is you can do is you let's say your customer the period financial period is you're according your 20 to 20, then you need to preset your financial period according your date. Then you can use the bank uh, record by period. It depends on financial period. You, you need to make sure the period of the financial is it from 20 to 20 or not. Actually, normally they, all the financial period is start from one first, first day. La. Can it be 20 to 20? La? So we're oh. so we here. <laughs> So the fiscal year normally is from first. So yeah. you cannot have no choice. So you have to use that uh, by the previous. The use bank. the previous that one. Mm. Bank recon. Don't use the no more, no more bank recon. No more bank recon. So we can actually roughly have a brief summary la, of what we have covered today. Right. We talk about the fixed asset. And then we talk about the recurring. And then also we talk about this uh, bank recon. So... Uh, at the first place, uh, when we go to implement, when we, uh, to give training or advice of customer, then we need to collect the info, uh, collect the info like uh, you know, about the financial years of course, and then about how is the bank statement, the pattern of the of the company. So you can advise them to use which one first. Uh, not recommend to change it halfway, like. Uh, yeah. So I guess uh, that's all for today. Uh. Thank, thank you everyone for participating to this uh, training and thank you Afat for the very thoroughly uh, explanation for this uh, accounting module. If you still have any more questions that uh, regarding so this uh, module, you can also raise the questions to us afterwards uh, then we will try to answer you. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks, sir. Thanks. <clears throat>